Okay, uh, hello and good day everyone, no? So today we will uh, discuss no, the last topic no, for this week, no, which is all about the system of linear equations. Okay, system of linear equations in two variables. So pag sinabing system, ibig sabihin gumagamit tayo ng two or more linear equations here with, in two variables. No? It's a pair of linear equations of the form a, a sub 1x plus b sub 1y plus c sub 1 equal to 0 and a sub 2x plus uh, b, b sub 2y plus c sub 2 equal to 0. So dalawa or two, two or more, no, two or more linear equations. Kaya tinawag siyang system of linear equation in two variables. Here, no, mga examples of system of linear equations. Okay, no. So you can see, dalawa. Dala dalawang system of linear equation. Now, systems of linear equations, no, may mga relationship yan, no. Una yung tinatawag na consistent. No? Pag sinabing consistent, the system represented by two intersecting lines that has one unique solution. Okay? Kasi tatlong klase yan. Eh. Tatlong klaseng relationship between uh, linear equations. So dito for consistent, no, nagpapakita siya doon sa graph na meron siyang two intersecting line na also shows that uh, has, on, has uh, one, okay? one unique solution only. Okay? So in uh, in a consistent uh, system of linear equation, okay, these two equations has different slopes and y intercepts. So magkaiba yung slope tsaka yung y intercept nila. Okay? So ibig sabihin big factor dito yung y yung uh, slope intercept form natin. Okay? Example here, no? Example of the graph of the consistent system, no? So you can see two intersecting line. Pag sinabi intersecting line, ito yung ito yung mga lines na nagmi-meet. Okay? So yung unique solution at na sinasabi dito no ito yon yan magkaiba yung slope no magkaiba yung slope nila kasi magkaiba yung direction ng mga mga graphs nila slope and y intercept okay another one is yung dependent consist i mean dependent system of linear equation okay so pag sinabing dependent no the system represented by two coincide, coinciding lines that has an infinite number of solution. Okay? So, yung graph natin dito, pag sinabing coinciding lines, yung line na nagpapatong. No? Kung saan, nasaan yung isang line, nandudun din siya. Okay? Lagi nakadikit. Okay? Hindi siya parallel, no? Kasi magkapatong sila. Okay? Then, na, kung saan nakakapag-form ng infinite number of solution. Okay? And also, for the dependent linear equation no system of linear equation okay they have the same slope and y intercept no parehas yung slope parehas din yung y intercept example this one okay as you can see ito yung purple na line ito naman yung blue no so yung purple ito yung unang equation yung blue naman yung light blue yung pangalawa as you can see magkapatong sila okay coinciding lines next is yung tinatawag na inconsistent system of linear equation. Okay? So, the system represented by two parallel lines and has no solution. No, no solution kasi nga parallel lines sila, hindi sila nag-intersect. Nagkakaroon lang ng solution, no, yung, yung system of linear equations was once na mag-intersect mag sila. But uh, since in a parallel lines, no, the lines do not intersect until infinity, no, then there is no solution between the, those two equations. And they have the same slope but different in y-intercept. No? Parehas lang yung slope pero yung y-intercept magkaiba. Okay, example ng graph no, ng inconsistent system. Ayan, as you can see, may parallel lines tayo. Okay? Now, here, no? example, we have 2x minus y equal to negative 8 and 6x plus 3y equal to 0. So let us find out no, if, this, if this system of linear equation is uh, consistent, dependent, and inconsistent system. Okay? By how? Hmm? By getting the slope-intercept form of which equations. No? Excuse me. Now, using the y y equal to mx plus b, nakukunin natin yung mga slope and then yung y-intercept y nila. Start tayo kay 2x minus y equal to negative 8. Okay? Write natin siya into this form. I transpose 2x to the other side, may negative y equal to negative 2x minus 8. No? Si 8 i-atras na lang natin, hindi na transpose kasi nga 
uh, automatic na sa right side na siya ng equal sign. Then negative dito, no? make it positive by multiplying negative 1 both sides of the equation. So negative 1 times negative y is y. Negative 2x times negative 1 is 2x. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive y. So nasa slope intercept form na tayo. What is this loop? We have 2. What is the y intercept? We have 8. Okay, next. Si 6x naman plus 3y equal to 0. Write natin siya into this form. No? Okay, transpose 6x to the other side. Then we have 3y equal to negative 6x. Then divide both sides by 3. Cancel this out. Then we have y is equal to negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2x. Okay, now. What is this loop? Negative 2. What is the y-intercept? 0. Kasi walang nakalagay. Pwede yun. No? Pwede maging 0. Now, compare natin yung loop ng 2x minus y equal to negative 8 at saka yung loop ng 6x plus 3y equal to 0. Are they equal? Not. No? They are not equal. What about for the y-intercept? Are they equal? Not also. Therefore, kung hindi sila equal, the system is consistent. Okay, consistent ang tawag sa system nila. And then it has a uh, unique, one unique solution. No? Pag graph natin yan, no? let us see sa graph niya. Okay, so hindi ko na-explain kung paano ko na, na ano yung point. No? Kasi nga, nandun sa, sa previous video lessons natin on how to graph linear equation. No? So ito shortcut ko na lang dito. Okay, so ito yung graph no, ng unang equation natin. Now, we have negative 4 and negative, I mean, positive, uh, neg negative 4 and 0 and 0 and 8. So, x and y intercept ang ginamit ko. Then, the other one is this one. Okay, yan. Ito yung magiging, magiging ano natin. No? Ito yung sa 6x plus 3y equal to 0. And ito naman sa 2x minus y equal to negative 8. Yan. As you can see, yung graph natin, two intersecting line. Kaya consistent system siya. Next, 12y minus 2x equal to 4 and then negative 3x plus 18y is equal to 6. So what is the system? No? Again, uh, using this uh, slope intercept form. No? Start tayo kay 12y minus 2x equal to 4. Transpose 2x to the other side, negative 2x. So magiging positive na siya, plus 4. Then divide both sides by 12. Cancel this out. Then your y here is equal to 12 over, I mean 2 over by 12x plus 4 over by 12. What is this loop? 2 over by 12 or in lowest term, no, sabi ko pwede yung lowest term yan, we have 1 sixth. Then the y-intercept, we have 4 over by 12. No, what is the lowest term? We have 1 thirds. Okay? Now, sa negative 3x plus 18y equal to 6 naman. Okay. Transpose negative 3x. Maging 18 equal to 3x plus 6. Then divide both sides by 8. Cancel this out. Then we have y is equal to 3 over by 18x plus 6 over by 18. What is this loop? 3 over by 18 or in lowest term, we have also 1 sixth. Next, the y-intercept, we have 6 over by 18 or in lowest term, we have 1 third. Now, compare the loops and the y-intercept of these two equations. Okay, yung slope nila, equal, press 1 sixth. Yung y-intercept, equal, press 1 thirds. Therefore, the system is dependent. Okay, dependent system. Okay, then if we graph these two, no, magiging ganito yung graph nila. Okay, yan. So you can see dalawang araw dito. No? Yan, coinciding lines, magkapatong. Next. 4y equal to 3x plus 8, then 4y equal to 3x plus 12. Okay. Slope intercept form. Now, as you can see, uh, na siya eh. uh, almost na, na nasa y, nasa slope, no, slope intercept form na, almost na. Ang kulang na lang, okay, pag divide both sides by 4, no? Cancel this out, then we have y is equals to 3 fourths x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. What is the slope? We have 3 fourths. What is the y-intercept? We have 2. So now, 4x, 4x equal to 3x. I mean, 4y equal to 3x plus 12. Now again, almost na rin na nasa slope intercept form na siya. Just divide both sides by 4 para makompleto na yung form niya. We have y equal to 3. Divide by 4 is 3 fourth. 
x plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. What is this loop? We have 3 fourths. What is the y-intercept? We have 3. Compare. Are they equal? Yes. For, for this loop. What about for the y-intercept? Are they equal? Not. No? Kung equaling is loop, then yung y-intercept is not. Therefore, the system is inconsistent. Okay? If we graph, uh, again, these two equations, no? So, magiging ganito yung graph natin. Okay? Uh, exercise, no? Identify whether the solution is consistent, inconsistent, or dependent. No? Number one, okay, 4x plus y equal to 6, 4x plus y equal to negative 1. Okay? Isa-isahin natin. Transpose 4x, magiging y equal to negative 4x plus 6. What is this loop? Negative 4. Y-intercept, 6. So, not 4x plus y equal to negative 1 naman. Transpose 4x, then we have y equal to negative 4x minus 1. Slope, negative 4, y-intercept is negative 1. Are they equal? Yes. Well, for y-intercept, they are not equal. Therefore, the, the system is inconsistent. Okay. Next, number 2. Okay. So, nagbago ako ng ano dito, no? So, sundin natin yung pangalawa. Ito. Supposedly, dapat pala ito. Yung, ano ko, no? Ayusin ko lang. Nag-change pala ako dito ng equation. Okay. So, dapat ito yung ginamit ko, no? Okay, now, for number 2, we have 3x plus y equal to negative 4. No? Transpose na lang no, yung 3x to the other side. Then we have y equal to negative 3x minus 4. Now, what is this loop? Negative 3. Your b, or yung y-intercept natin, is negative 4. So, no, 6x plus 2y equal to negative 8. No? Transpose 6x to the other side. Then we have 2y equal to negative 6x minus 8. Divide both sides by 2. Then we have y is equal to negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. What is this loop? Negative 3. Why intercept? Negative 4. Therefore, no? as, we can, as, as, uh, as we can see here, no? yung is loop are equal, then yung y intercept are also equal. Then, this one is dependent system. No? Okay, dependent system. Okay, so dependent system pagka equal yung slope and then the y-intercept. Okay, ilitin ko lang din dito. Okay, so nagkakamali pala ako dito. Then dito is yung dependent. Now, number 3, we have x minus y equal to 3 and x minus 7 y equal to negative 3. Okay, transpose x to the other side, then we have negative y equal to negative x plus 3. Multiply both sides by negative 1, then y equal to x minus 3 na siya. What is this loop? Walang nakalagay na, na number sir eh. Oh, automatic 1 yun. Okay, y-intercept is negative 3. Next, x minus 7 y equal to negative 3. Transpose x to, x to the other side, then we have negative 7 y equal to negative x equal to negative 1. Multiply, multiply both sides by negative 7. Then we have y equal to 1 over by 7, x plus 3 over by 7. What is this loop? Okay. We have 1 over by 7. Then the y-intercept is 3 over by 7. Okay. Let us compare no, this loop. No, are they equal? Not. No? Y-intercept, they are not also. Therefore, the system is Consistent system. Okay, no need to graph. Basta makita lang natin yung slope and then yung y-intercept. No? Kung equal ba hindi. Okay, then we can easily determine the system of linear equation. Okay, so that's it. Okay, thank you for listening. And again, do not forget to answer your exercises. No? Your quiz and assignment to be followed na. Okay, so that's all. Goodbye and... God bless.